in Nock, there's an Easter egg. You might or might not know this. Some people have done YouTube videos. I think Eldre was the first person that reported this, but if you look into Nock, there's a sub oscillator. So every time the kick drum hits, it will detect that and add an 808 on top of the kick. It kind of gives it like a deeper punch and a deeper resonance underneath the kick when it hits. Now, what's happening is every time that kick hits, there's a sub on top of it. If you wanted to solo just the sub, there's a hidden feature in Nock that allows you to do that. What you can do is double click on the word sub underneath the sub knob and you'll see everything in the plugin gray out. And so then what will happen is only the sub will play. So it basically solos the sub and so you don't hear the drum break, just the sub underneath it. So that's one trick for knock. Another trick for knock, if you're doing vocals and you wanna get a dope distorted sound, run your vocals through knock and use the saturator and the air. Saturator, air, and clip and also the EQ underneath the five modules. I found that that is a one-stop way to get amazing sound and distorted vocals. If you hear my vocal shouts and my packs and everything that's everywhere, it'll give you that sound with like two knobs. So instead of having to use saturators and EQs just to get it to sound the way you want it, just the saturation knob alone and knock will get your vocals to that place. Hey! 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 Another trick with knock is if you have a really clean sounding breakbeat that you want to make more dirty, go into the EQ section of knock, take down the high frequencies, maybe like a third of the way that will cut out a lot of the highs and then go into the air knob and turn the air knob way up. That will give the breakbeat kind of like a very dirty, punchy, grimy kind of sound, but still give it a little bit of clarity with the air. You could try the air on vintage mode or on clean mode and see which one you like better. I don't hear many people talk about this, but at the bottom of knock, there's a tone knob. Tone allows you to either favor the top end or favor the low end. So if your drums have a little bit too much bass and you want it to have more top, just turn the tone knob a little bit, turn it to the left and increase the top end and it'll tame the bass frequencies a little bit. So what that's doing is it's just shaping the tone of your drums. So that is a trick in knock that I don't hear many people talk about, but there's a reason why I put that in the plugin. I feel like it can quickly dial in a little more balance to your drum sounds. Honestly, when I create my drums for drums at knock, I make them so you can just use them right out of the pack. Technically, you don't need to use knock on them, but if you wanted to do more editing or more tweaking, you can use knock on them. It's definitely not essential. They're good to go. But I will say drums at knock X, I left a little more headroom for you to shape them how you want. If you load them up, they might not smack super hard like some of the older packs. I did that intentionally so you can kind of dial it in how you want. Because some people were, were saying, Decap, your drums are dope, but they just sometimes hit way too hard. So I wanted to give you more leeway to be able to hit them how you want to hit them. So knock could be a good tool if you want them to hit harder or punch a little harder. It's really up to you. I left it open-ended and it's not required, but you can do it if you want. How much more can your knocks knock? I mean, you know, with the knock plugin, you can make your shit knock indefinitely, all the way, on 10, on 100. It can keep knocking. I watched this video of someone recently. They were like, how loud can we get the master? How many LUFS can we get the master? And they got it past zero LUFS. They got it to plus one, plus two. Theoretically, knock as hard as you f want it to knock. How do you make knock not have a ton of distortion? See, the beautiful thing about knock is you can use it as much or as little as you want. I made knock so if you want to go crazy and distort the f out of it, you just turn that shit up. You go crazy. You just turn the knobs up, experiment with making it knock hard. If you don't want knock to go crazy, just use it a little bit or use it in parallel. If there's a dry wet knob, you can distort it and then dial it back a little bit. Knock is great because it allows you to go as ham as you want on the distortion or chill and just give it a little bit of tone. So that's really the beauty I feel and how I design knock. So you can really dial in the knock as much or as little as you want.